Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be back on monkey business again. We're going to try to get the uh, dash tower uh, all modified and bolted in place. Get the steering column up through it and uh, see where we're uh, see what we're going to get done there. So, uh, it, uh, we may have to move it, you know, forward or back. Well, more than likely back. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, Without further ado, let's get to wrenching. All right, y'all, we need to measure back spacing on these. It's real simple to do. You just measure from the furthest, widest point on your frame, and we got about four and a half inches. Yeah, about four and a half inches is what the uh, clearance is there. So uh, let's get the uh, tires and wheels out, and I'll show you how to measure the back space on them. All right, y'all, uh, measure the back space on this. Got the tire laying on a flat surface with the inside of the rim facing up. Uh, got me a nice straight edge here. Uh, and all you got to do is measure from the flange, the mounting flange, up. And we have, I'm trying to get to where you guys can see and I can see and everybody can see. We've got, uh, that is roughly... Uh, five eighths of an inch. Well, four. I'm sorry, four and three eighths. I'm looking at it backwards. Yeah, it's four and three eighths, roughly. Now yeah, we can call it four. Yeah, four and three eighths, four and a half, four and three eighths. Somewhere right in there. So uh, yeah, um, they'll bolt on, they'll rub, but so I'll probably end up getting. I don't know if I can get three quarter inch thick spacers. Uh, I'll probably end up just getting one inch spacers and uh, use those. Uh, a friend of mine, Danny, um, Danny and April, uh, I've mentioned him on the channel before. Uh, he's actually got a set, uh, he thinks they're two inch. Um, we might even check those out and see how they, how they work. So uh, yeah, awesome, cool. So all right. That's how you measure your backspacing. All right, y'all. Um, we got that backspacing measured. Uh, Danny did bring the spacers he had over, but they uh, they wouldn't fit the lugs. They were a wrong bolt pattern. Uh, well, bolt circle, uh, five lug, but it was a bigger bigger circle. So, but I went through my junk, and I did find these. Those are half inch. Um, I guess when we get to the point of putting tires on it, we'll try those. And uh, I know I can buy quarter-inch thick spacers, so maybe we'll stack a pair up and uh, give them a try. So, all right, let's uh, let's move on to getting this uh, dash tower put in. So, y'all hang out, and uh, we'll get doing that. All right, y'all. Um, I think I said before I was gonna try a step bit. Um, yeah, um, we're not gonna be able to get a, do a step bit. There's a thick boss over on this side over here, right in this area. Uh, the step bit won't uh, drill through it. So we're gonna break out the Warrior uh, hole saws and uh, pop our hole right through there. Um, so that should be pretty well right in line. Uh, this is a uh, inch and three eighths. The shaft is only seven eighths. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it won't uh, be off too much. It should should make up the difference. And then uh, once we get the hole drilled, uh, we'll have to. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to come 
sideways with the mounting bolts. Uh, I do want to make a aluminum panel. Uh, I thought I had some. Uh, I'm going to look around again. The only thing I have is diamond plate. I'm not a big diamond plate fan. Uh, I did have some smooth quarter inch aluminum laying around, but I may have used it on something else and just don't remember or whatever. But anyways, you know, we'll get the, the main hole drilled through, get the steering column up through it. Um, well, we, we got to get the bearing, the bushing back here, slid up the shaft, so, um, or sliding on the shaft. So we're going to start out, we're going to get the hole drilled. So move that thing forward. I'm going to grab my cordless drill and uh, we're going to drill a hole in there. So uh, let me get the drill and stuff and we'll uh, bring you all right back. All right, y'all. Uh, the two batteries that I have for my cordless drills um, that are iffy at best, they uh, both are mostly dead and I don't want to wait an hour to charge one up. So we busted out the corded drill. So. Here we go. That made quick work of that. Um, Y'all can see here, this is the uh, piece that come out. There's that, you know, thicker boss part, you know. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's uh, see if we can get this, well, pop the steering wheel off. And we'll see if, uh, dang, I'm knocking everything over. Get the bolts out of this thing. Fit in there, boys. Uh, got my little mallet here so I can get it lined up. Get one of them, there's two bolts on each side. Get one of them lined up, and then I can lean. Literally lean it back to huh. the uh, I think we're gonna have to cut it up a little higher. Yeah. So she won't she won't lean back anymore. Well, let me slide the steering wheel back on it and turn, let's see if I can turn that. Here a little bit more. There we go. Yep. Yep, we're off just a hair. So, um, huh. That's unusual. I did have that thing leaned all the way back. There, there we go. Oh, oh it just broke the aluminum. Aha, I see what the problem is. The shaft was hitting the 
That's why we broke it. Well. Hmm. I gotta think about this now, y'all. So. Alright, I'm gonna shut the camera off. Do some thinking and figuring. And, uh. See what we're gonna do here. Um. That sucks, I just broke my dash. So. Alright, I'm gonna shut this off, think about this, and see what we're gonna do about it. Alright, y'all. Hopefully this ain't too shaky. I'm doing it kind of freehand. Uh, we had to move this back about an inch. Uh, to get it to clear. Because now the steering wheel is shorter. It just barely... It'll just barely clear the steering wheel. So, yeah. Um, we'll make up something different for the hood latches. Ain't no big deal. Um, so I'm just going to re-drill this. This hole right here. Put a nut and a bolt in that. Um, I may actually tack a nut on the back side. So I can still run my bolt through. Or my nut through. And then we'll make a, the piece that goes in here. We'll just have to make up a filler piece. Uh, so we can bolt here and here. We just won't use this bolt over here. Uh, that should keep it. You know pretty steady um uh what we're gonna do with that crack i don't know um that's cast aluminum so um i don't know if i can possibly take it to my daily job clean it up and just put some spot wet aluminum on it um but uh the other thing we'll have to do is this plate here that fills in this area uh we'll have to cut it back some too so uh, yeah, so, yeah, hey, it's the price of paying for customization, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this, this hole here drilled, and the one on the other side drilled, and, uh, get it kind of bolted in place temporarily, and then, uh, yeah, we'll move on to the, to the next part. Alright, y'all, we got them, uh, got the holes drilled. Got some temporary bolts in there. Um, I've disconnected the choke because, uh, like I said, I got to take this up to the my daily job and see if we can't uh, tack that back together. Um, so, yeah, we uh, we're moving right along here. So, uh, I guess the next thing is to uh, yeah get that thing fixed and. Uh, get the uh, get some new bolts for it but uh, I was looking at the piece that goes in here that holds the clutch arm and uh, I think what we're gonna do is we'll just make up a whoops just make up a like a two inch plate that we'll, we can draw and put in here put a bolt in here and then because it it kind of drops down like this we'll make it you know a little wider and then we'll just weld that to that and that'll be our filler piece and that'll be our stabilizer for our uh, column so all right um, I'm gonna finish taking this thing back off and uh, we'll bring you guys back whenever we uh, hopefully we get that thing welded up and uh, we'll get uh, we got to move the bearing up the bushing up up here that uh, mounts and get the aluminum plate made so uh yeah we'll uh bring you back when we're ready to move on to that all right y'all we got our aluminum plate cut out um looks real nice it fits in there really nice um got our hole surprisingly cut you know right where it's supposed to be so um next thing i'm going to do is uh, I want to make this kind of a brushed aluminum finish so I'm going to take a uh, scratch bright uh, uh, pad type deal that goes like on the cleaning it's for surface cleaning uh, I'm going to try to truck it in my drill press and 
you know, do the little step, step, step across. So um, let me get that set up and uh, set a camera up and uh, show you guys what I'm going to attempt. All right, y'all. See what we can uh, accomplish here. So I'm going to start up in the corner. You know what, y'all? I'm gonna draw some draw some pencil lines across here to try to keep straight lines going. So uh, give me a second, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna draw or draw some lines across this plate here. But uh, if you guys can see there, yeah, I think it's gonna look all right. So um, let me get my lines drawn so I got some nice straight lines, and we'll bring y'all back. Alright y'all, I got some lines drawn on there now, so uh, let's try this again. Alright y'all, that doesn't look that bad, I kind of like it, you know, I can still see a little bit of the line, but that ain't no big deal, so, yeah, I think it kind of looks cool, so, alright, let's go install this thing. Alright y'all, I got the plate kind of bolted on there with just a couple temporary screws. I gotta get some new hardware, so let's uh, drop this thing on here and see what she looks like. So. Oh yeah. Alright, pop these couple bolts in here. I think she looks pretty good. Yeah, so, all right. Now, I need to slide that uh, bushing up and mark that to see uh, where it's gonna fall and see if we can't get it, uh, drill it into place. I need some light. I bring you guys around, but there ain't enough room for all of us. Yeah, I think right about in there somewhere. It's going to be kind of offset like this and like this. But I don't think that'll be that bad. So, uh, yeah. Let me get a uh, marking utensil. And, uh, I'll get them marked out and get them to grow. So, all right, I'm gonna shut the camera off. I'm gonna do that off camera, and then uh, we'll bring you back after we get it all bolted in place. So, all right. Oh, I forgot to show you my weld job on there. See, so, uh, I got it all welded up. Front side doesn't look that bad. So, but uh, up here on the front, took a couple carriage bolts. Stainless steel ones, drilled down through, got them mounted in there. So next we're gonna drop it on and uh, get that, get this bushing here all bolted up in place. So.
right back. I didn't grab my impact. And I dropped that nut. bolts on the uh, sides there. We get them lined up. That one just fits tight in the hole. Must be some a little bit of a burr on this nut. So. She's pretty rock solid, y'all. Throw the steering wheel on there. See how she looks. Now we may end up making an extension to this steering column. Bring it up a little higher, but uh, yeah. I like it. I guess I gotta get some new hardware for these for the corners to hold it down. But uh, yeah, let's see if the hood shuts now easily. Hang on to the hood there, dummy. Yeah, so this is all right. Hey, that even work. Well, on this side the latch works. But hey, I like it. So, yeah. Yeah, we can steer pretty easy. So, all right. Hey, look at that. Steering wheels are actually straight, and the steering wheel is straight across. So, all right. I really like that. I like how that turned out. So, um,. Get you guys out of the stand. Give you guys a up close and personal look at it. So, all right, all right, y'all. I don't think it turned out real half bad. Mail well, looks pretty nice. Um, I mean, it probably should have been back a little bit more, but uh, 
hey, you know, it is what it is. It's where, where it's at. So, but, uh, I mean, it's a little straight up and down. It's not leaning back like, you know, most of them are, but, you know, we probably should have moved the dash back a, uh, probably another inch or two at least, but, uh, hey, it is what it is, man. Like I said, you know, I like it. It's going to work. I mean, you don't use a steering wheel or other than just going on and off the track, so I like it. All right. All right, y'all. Got that all done. Uh, you know, got the dash tire there all installed. You know, I had to move it back a little bit, make a new top plate for it there. I think that top plate turned out pretty sweet. Um, I will probably make a nice little trim ring or something go on top of that uh, just to just to kind of finish it off um, if I can find a rubber grommet to go in there that would be awesome but you know it's uh, you know six one half dozen the other but uh, I like the way it turned out I like the brush look we did on it um, I think that looks cool so uh, that's gonna do it for this video um, appreciate y'all y'all hanging out and watching these videos and you know hanging out with me here while I'm wrenching in the garage Hope you're enjoying them. So uh, I think the next video will probably finish that front uh, tunnel cover there, that clutch guard, clutch cover and stuff. Get it put in there. Get the little extension piece put on that to take up the space between it and the uh, dash tower where it's at. So uh, look forward to that. So all right. Uh, again, if you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up. You know, and if you're new to the channel, please ring the bell, turn on all notifications. Get everything we do here in the shop and the, the tractor poles and whatever else I decide to video. So, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And uh, remember, you got to keep it pinned to win. So, have a good one.